Hey, it's Tony Spark 11 with an updated LEGO Fire Emblem Three Houses minifigure collection. I've added a few figures and updated some of the other ones to clean them up a bit since the last time showing the full collection of figures. So we'll start off with Male Byleth. This coat was pretty difficult to get shaped right, but I'm very happy with the result of it. For the Sword of the Creator, I've done a tutorial once on how I make custom swords. I'll probably do an updated tutorial on that. Basically, I just use the same few sword pieces for everything and edit them in different ways. But I'll go over more about specific swords and how they were made in an updated sword tutorial eventually. Most of these are post time skip designs because they're more unique, but I have a couple pre time skip designs. Dimitri. His mouth is faded a bit, so you can't see it with the glare. I really like the capes that the Lord uniforms have. Edelgard. Her hair was very difficult, especially since I originally made this before release, so I didn't have the 3D model to look at to get the hair right initially, so then I had to edit the hair, which made it come out not as good as it could have been if I just made it correctly to begin with. Post time skip Dimitri. Focus. So even though it's not really that detailed. In fact, it's a very simple design for him. This is one of my favorite minifigures of all time. Not just for Fire Emblem, but just all-time favorite minifigures. Mostly because of the cape and the face, well, the face and hair, but especially the cape. Post Time Skip Dimitri just has a really, really good design even though it's fairly simple. Most of the detail is in his cape and some of his hair chipped off a bit. But the way I was able to make it layered is especially nice. And hair chipped off there too. I think this must have chipped off while recording because when I first brought everything over to start recording, his hair looked fine. 
Yeah, you can see a piece of something, probably his hair came off onto my finger right there. Erdbar, Erdbar was made from one of those like long, big claw pieces, I'm not sure what it's called exactly, and cut down to size. Lysithia, with her Thyrsus wand, I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Petra. Petra is one of my favorite characters in Three Houses, but unfortunately I could not do her justice with the minifigure because of her skin tone, so I had to color in the face instead of just drawing on a face of the right color already, which means it came out not nearly as clean as a regular minifigure face would. Hair is Qui-Gon hair with just a little bit of tape to fill in the back so that it looks like a thicker ponytail. Ferdinand von Eyer. Ferdinand has one of my favorite designs in Three Houses. Especially his angled cape. Just absolutely love the angled cape. Bernadetta von Varley. I have her in her sniper slash regular design, but with the, I don't know what you would call it, I guess skirt of Bow Knight on a Bow Knight horse, mostly because I didn't want to make an extra whole minifigure body for the Bow Knight design. I think when cleaning her up, I forgot to put the, I forgot to refresh the lining for body shape on there. It's still kind of there, but it's not fresh anymore. It's very faded away. completely redone her hair from before.
also a custom summer Bernadetta design that I made myself. It's pretty basic. And I didn't think of any kind of interesting summary weapons to go with it. It's just a really basic summer body design. So you pop the head off her and just put it on here. And then the most recent addition, Felix Hugo for Aldarius. I never got around to making the Aegis shield for him like I said I wanted to. Maybe eventually I'll still get around to it. So I've also got a lot of Fire Emblem characters from Fates and Awakening that I need to remake, and then eventually I'll do videos on those again. I'm not going to do a collection video on them right away because I basically just have to go and completely remake all those figures since they're so old. So they'll get individual videos and then a collection whenever I'm done remaking them all. But if there's any specific character you want to see from Fire Emblem or from any series, then you can see commission info linked in the description, and I can make a figure of it as long as it's something feasible. Unlike Numa, Numa is definitely going to be impossible. So, see you next time!